Hello guys, we're watching more Gumball because you guys will never stop. And if you guys want us to watch more Gumball, then get this video to 10,000 likes. And if you want to see the uncut version of this video and lots of other exclusive rewards, check out our Patreon. And click the red subscribe button down below because we want you to do it. You're still dancing the opening. You've heard this a hundred fucking times! Sorry, I love the song, I love the song. Oh, I thought she was about to kick Anna East. The cinematography in this episode is awesome. I love the, it's, it's like Tarantino camera angles in this bitch. Oh my God, that shot was so cool. That was such an awesome shot. You think that was a Tarantino led decision to have like them not wear shoes? Like you could, the fact that you can see Nicole's feet the whole time. Good beef. This can can be opened by women of reasonable intelligence with limited male supervision. <laughs> That's funny. This is a very on the nose episode. What, what is going heck? on? Like, we watch the most political gumball episodes, chat. Like, I <laughs> directly call calling out discrimination and sexism of the prior era. Oh, she's one of those like coupon moms that like tries to get every single deal trying to squeeze. Yeah. At, like, oh one of those my fucking God. disgusting moms who tries to, you know, make ends meet and feed her children. Oh, it's Nicole's stupid parents. Oh, they're so ugly. <laughs> How did those disgusting creatures bust out this uh, immaculate creature, bro? Jack, when people get old, they their bodies start to change a little, and there's, there's yeah, but we shouldn't call them ugly because of that. I think we should exactly call them ugly because of that, dude. They just blame each other for what happened between them, but no one really knows whose fault it is. It's like potato patatwa. Potato patatwa. And then we. It's it's potato, and no one's doing a Canadian destroyer off a shed in the backyard. Canadian, Canada, they reference my country. And I used to such a nerd emoji, like Richard's just trying to have fun with his family, trying to be a good father. In life, you have to dress for the job you want. Don't you think you started a little early? Congratulations to both of you. It's a... Uh... <laughs> boss baby. Oh my God, boss baby. What about girl boss baby? Have they made girl boss baby yet, the sequel? Is it like boss baby 2 about there being a girl and a guy yeah, the, boss yeah, baby or whatever? Yeah. That's... So clearly you haven't been keeping up with boss baby lore. Nicole is my middle name. My first name is Doctor. Wait, what's her last name? Is, there like, is this like an Obama situation? Is Nicole Obama? Like, please let me know. Is it bad to say that this is Asian coding? It definitely is. <laughs> This is 100%. Did Nicole go to Kumon though? That's the big question here. And did I copy off of her in math class? Who is that? Oh, they're trying to make Nicole. Dude, Nicole has three children with this man. Trying and to you set her up with some banking dweeb. All right. I, I think I might be seeing some coding going <laughs> on here. I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm seeing the coding and I'm trying to have some, you know? Oh, right. Well, we went to the town of Rusfip in Moldavia. I was the only woman in the region. Everybody tried to marry me, even a dog. What? Why are they throwing shots at Moldova for like no reason? <laughs> like the most irrelevant country known to man. Is that why you sent Richard and I divorce papers for our first anniversary? No, that was because you sent me retirement home leaflets for my 50th birthday. With glitter! Well, that's because you tried to ship Richard to Guatemala! In Guatemala? Guatemala, they're name dropping every country. Richard would thrive in Guatemala. That's just a free vacation. He would thrive. That was after you paid for a honeymoon but replaced Richard with a neurosurgeon! Oh, that was after. After? Heart attack. Heart attack, heart attack, heart stroke, attack. Stroke, no. stroke, stroke, Why stroke, you want to stroke, have a stroke Die! right now? I know this is the cheapest, dirtiest kind of emotional manipulation, but there's too much on the line here, so... 10,000 reasons... Oh, he's, well, he's gonna, gonna sing, sing right now. I'm pretty sure this is like a Coldplay song. And no excuses can erase. And it was all yellow because she's Asian coded. <laughs> because she's <laughs> Asian coded. <laughs> That's actually what the original lyrics for the song were gonna be, but they changed it. Coldplay went a little too woke with that one. Why is this kind of sad though? I'm literally crying on the most sad episode. episodes. I'm, hold I'm holding my tears in because I don't want to be embarrassed around my masculine friends, Corn and Eden. Like they're really masculine. I don't want to show my femininity to them. So I'm holding my tears in. But like if I was by myself right now, I would be crying. The memories will fade away. 
I feel like this is like the most serious episode of Gumball I have ever seen. This really isn't that sad. Like they, she, he could, she could just call her parents back if she changes her mind. Like it's not that big yeah, a deal. Yeah, but it's complicated. Like, like she can call them back, but then she has to see their ugly faces again. And just the thought That's of seeing sad. her parents' ugly, dementia-ridden faces is sad because they're so ugly in comparison to her. I'm watching another show right now. This I changed like the, the channel back. This is like the Young Sheldon accident. of Gumball. This, <laughs> this is very Young Sheldon Cody. Like, why is it, it so emotional? You really summed up their relationship with each other and helped them reconnect. Richard, shut up, Rich. That was the most coherent sentence he's ever had. Shut up, Richard. Haven't you noticed how weird the kids have been acting lately? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That's what fucking, the hell? That looks like something out of Smiling Friends. I'll give you a clue. It begins with F. <gasps> Food family. <laughs> Seamless. Yeah. The gumball cringe face literally runs in the family, man. Hot dog guy. Hot dog guy dad in the episode. This is like the first time we've seen hot dog guy in like 800 years. In fact, I'm so hungry, I think I'm hallucinating. Eat him. Wow, that was pointless. You're already a hot dog. For your information, the preferred term is artificially flavored reconstituted meat snack. Dude, he basically just called them the N-word for hot dogs. I, I was going to say that exchange looks like him calling him Indian. He's like, actually, it's Native American. Nicole said I had to wait in the car. Why are you always like this? His angel is so what? small. Ew, it's like zoomed in. I can see his pores. Pores and his hairs. I don't need to see all that on Richard. Excuse me, sir. Do you have an appointment? What the hell is that? You can't use the vending machine just because you don't have an appointment? I don't need an appointment. I own the place. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting, sir. Please don't fire me. I'll tell the CEO immediately. What? He just fucking. He's back! I'll tell him I don't win. Why are they singing? He's Why are back. they singing? Who would have thought I'd finally meet him? Wait, this song is actually kind of nice. I like this one. It's there's, elegant. There's as so hell. many different voices in this one song. Dare not look him in the eyes. Be sure to cut you down to some. This kind of feels like if a Total Drama World Tour song was good. An impossible situation. <laughs> we are shearing sheep. We are shearing sheep. We are shearing sheep. I don't think that's him. <laughs> Is that guy gonna be okay? He's already landed. Well, sweep him up and pay his medical bill. Sweep him up. I'm sure you've noticed we've made a few changes here at Gen X. They gave him a commercial? They gave him a PSA? What is going on? What will happen to my dental plan? <laughs> Who is that guy? One of the best Dude, that's characters. that's the guy from The Office. Wait, what's the guy with the off from The Office? It's the Dwight. It's that's Dwight. literally Dwight The Office. This episode went in such a bizarre direction. I thought this was going to be a Nicole episode. It's literally all about Richard. Oh, that's been happening quite a lot. They're taking out the foundations. <laughs> They're taking out the foundations. You gotta dance to make it go up. <laughs> no fucking way. No, why is this that is a That's no fucking angel awesome. Way. Angel that, that goes way. hard as fuck. I never knew what I wanted to do with my life until now. What a way to go out, though. No, he totally died. You're not a hard-nosed, no-nonsense business guru at all. You're a lying, swindling, talentless con artist. Which is, you know, potato, potato. They made that joke in the last episode. They made that joke in the last episode. You can't say that every time. We watched the most libcuck episodes of Gumball. No, we watched the most ANCAP episodes. Do you think the workers in that building had right? All the work, there's like thousands of dead people now. I would just like to say this is worse than 9-11. I say we ditch school today. Damn TDM gas. Damn TDM gas. They're at the damn TDM gas station right now. Did Dan TDM do the school shooter mod or something? Is that why this episode is about? And now go make me a sandwich. Or I'm going to shoot up the school. Yeah, well, sorry, but Mewtwo's first law of physics. Mewtwo. Mewtwo. That's Mewtwo. a reference to Pokemon. Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Yes. I love Pokemon. I love it. Hey, could you fill in for me while I take five? <laughs> <laughs> Can I trust you with this? Oh, child labor episode. Don't call it child labor. Call it what it is. Wage cock episode, okay? We watched the most wage cock episode. I thought it was going to be the most school shooter episode, but it turns out to be wage That's better. That's that's a lot better. I don't it's just means you can refill it as much as you like. Oh, really? Then I suggest you have a little chat with my friend. Ooh, Webster! This episode is them just having to deal with insufferable customers. Dude, I'm so glad I don't have a real job because if I did have a real job, I would just skip this episode. I'd be like, who comes home from their nine to five and then wants to watch the episode where they have to have a horrible, like, where is the escape in my life? You know what I mean? That, no, ew, ew, I didn't like the angle that that last shot was at. That was not. What are you doing? He's not 
robbing us. We're the bank. It's our job to rob him. Dude, this man <laughs> skipped everything, Day. Like, what? Look at his limbs. What is going on? I'll drop your credit score so low you won't even be able to get a loan at the library, punk. Oh, my God. These episodes so far feel weirdly similar to when we were watching Sonic Boom, where there's a lot of very, like, overt political or, like, social references in it. That's the one thing that would make these episodes better. If Knuckles from Sonic Boom, if there was, like, a oh. cross over. They're both Cartoon yes. Network, though, right? They're both Cartoon Network. There's no reason Idris Elba can't come onto the stage and start busting it down sexual style. I don't know. Well, the thing is, is that the kid does have like three penises, right? So I think it would take a while for Knuckles to come. Because literally the every single time penis. we have ever brought up Knuckles, it goes Wait, straight to the three penises do, every time. Do you think that's what the Beatles were singing about when they're like, come, come together, together right now. now? And then Knuckles bumped it on fucking uh, Paul McCartney or whatever. Dude, what's today's date? Friday, November 24th. Oh, dude, working dude, on this Black is PTSD. Friday. Dude, working on Black Friday is literal. I can't watch this episode. <laughs> I literally cannot. I I cannot. Dude, people would be knocking over displays, and that's what I had to do. I had to make the displays, and then I'm there for like three hours <laughs> after my shift. Fucking kill me. This episode is too real. People literally oh. die getting trampled on Black Friday. This is the episode where they finally empathize with Larry because Larry's life sucks so terribly. I think it there's there's very few constants in the Gumball universe. And I think one of them is that Gumball will never have respect for Larry. And what was the lesson? That we should go to school because we need to learn more in order to find jobs that fulfill our souls so we don't have to waste our lives running after money in order to buy pointless stuff to fill the gaping holes of our existential dread. Jesus Christ! Oh my what God! What a beautiful... That's actually one of the most wholesome morals of that. Any gumball Then episode, Larry though. kills himself. But they just roasted... They Larry goes... They roast Larry like that. Like, that was so unnecessary. Imagine you, you watch that episode and, like, your mom works at McDonald's. I, I gotta go to college, mommy, so I don't have to work a dead-end, miserable job and have a sad life like you do. The intelligence. Hey, yo, I'll be walking on my intelligence the moment I'm a summoner. Puppies. I like puppies. I like puppies. I like puppies. Stop, oh, man. Ads. Fuck. Yo, no, run an no. ad, mod. Run mod. an ad. Four, ad run, run an ad. So you can do all the things that future generations can't. Get hard. Like driving without looking at the road. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Gumball's kind of good at these react. Maybe Gum... Bro, can we I'm, like I'd, I'd watch the Gumball commentary channel. Gumball Darwin, join our channel. Darwin, we need some black representation. We have no Darwin black people on this me, channel. Darwin, just replace me. Computers have mapped every corner of the globe. Soon with artificial intelligence. This is artists trying to be better than the algorithm, oh but nothing is better than the algorithm. <laughs> but they still can't stop you from pulling the plug. That's what I said about my granddad. Uh, the little, uh, the total, uh, what an absolute, uh, oh, he's not allowed to say slurs. He has, <laughs> and save Sir John. <laughs> remind me later, remind me later. Why did they make it so difficult to wipe out humanity? I really don't like this character's voice. Okay, I think I'm okay. Jesus. Oh my god, he's a Redditor. This bitch isn't a Redditor. He is Reddit. This shit looks like a FNAF, like, fan animation. Oh, heck no. Oh, oh my god, he did the hell no me. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Do you have any idea what time it is? I know not, for my time wheel has stopped at a half moon hands. Bro, I did not ask to pull up to the Renaissance Fair today. I want to go to a Renaissance Fair. Like, that sounds like fun. It's only fun if, like, I get to kill, like, a peasant or something. This is a oh. rate. Is this, like, they're back to, like, Confederate times or something? Not like, confet. A lot farther back. We're doing the Salem back. witch trials right now. <laughs> that's, like, an a that's 100 years before that. Dunk the witch! Dunk. Kill the witch! That's that's your wife. Kill the That's witch. your wife. Kill the That's witch. What the witch wants to dunk the witch? Now hold on. To LGBT. It says LGBT on the corner of the bike. Is he gonna show it again? It said L editor zoom in. It says LGBT right there. It told them how to get where they needed to go. There's hieroglyphics of like a guy on a moped <laughs> delivering pizza. Pizza yum yum though. Pizza yum yum. Oh my god. Pandered to their deepest darkest desires. Cat. Puss in Boots. Oh my god, that's oh Puss in Boots. Oh my furry reference. Brothel! Brothel! That's a map of Elmore. We can use it to find the internet and restart it. I don't think so, Sonny. I don't want to have to go back to competing with a cell phone. That's real. That's real. That's funny because, you know, Gumball is partially to blame for degrading the attention span of, of children around the world. I would say completely to blame. I, I would blame... <laughs> I blame Gumball for all of TikTok and all of, like, our generation. I mean, with the amount of Gumball videos 
moves that we have made, I think Gumball alone has significantly destroyed my attention span, like single-handedly. <laughs> Bro, the music ain't going hard. This what shit the hell? sounds like Ocarina of Time soundtrack. What is going on right now? What happened to you? I incorporated. Is this just what the AI is seeing when you're when you're running like image training? It's like I asked ChatGPT, like, why is two plus two five? And then this is what happens to it. Like it just completely dies. Perhaps we're better off without technology. It's like maybe we should just kill this character permanently. I thought you were gonna say maybe we should just kill ourselves. Maybe and I was we like, should just kill Hallelujah. ourselves, Gumball. Hallelujah. Happy birthday! Come on, Granny Jojo Blue! Dude, uh, Granny Jojo is one of my favorite characters. I just love old people and like their wrinkles. It just makes me want happy for when I get all the wrinkles. I like old people because it reminds me that I'm gonna die eventually. I think it's time for a toast. He's eating toast. <sighs> They groaned at the fucking joke. <laughs> if you, if if the characters in the episode groan at the joke, why do you include it in the episode, Gumball? What the hell? Did you take Gumball write the episode? <laughs> like Gumball writes all the episodes. Gumball's the executive producer. It's his amazing world. Who else would fucking write it? Surprise! Sorry, sir. We already got a surprise here. We don't need any more. Nice to meet you, sir. Oh, she's oh, getting the married boyfriend. to the little rat guy. Oh my god, that was hot. That was literally fucking... That's that a Richard nice. reaction I can empathize. Replay that. Yo, Ed, Watching your parents kiss will like always be motion. at least a little gross. Why did you steal my mom? Jesus, this is this is a little <laughs> too, too much real? For me. Is it too real for you? We watched the yeah. most traumatic... Wait, we already... that was the last video. We can't do that. We can't do that. But there is a lot of trauma in this video as well. You're lucky they're here or you'd end up in a mobility... I swear to God, if you impregnate my mother... She can't get pregnant. No, no, no. It's, it'll be a miracle, though. We should try it out. We should all take turns. We do Gilf Island. You know how they have like Milf Manor? We do Gilf Island. We get one Milf. Gilf one Island would be way better than Milf Manor. But you would need an alliteration, so we'd have to call it Gilf Gazebo. Oh, she bad. Sheesh. Oh my god, they're actually doing it. They're doing Gilf Manor. It's Gilf Manor right now. Sorry, Gumball. I'm going to Gilf Gazebo, the new show on TLC, the learning channel, where we learn to be. <laughs> where we learn to impregnate elderly people. Kids, close your eyes. Uh, what? Whoa, whoa. No, she looks like a blobfish, the one that they pulled from the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> oh, oh, God. He just generated a new head. Oh, my God. Did we mess up the back part? Oh, what? Hello? Hello? They censored his feet. It's weird, though. He turned around. They showed his ass. And then the widescreen, <laughs> they censored, censored it. it. Maybe it's because there's something in front that they're also censoring. I don't know. They cut that off years ago. Gumball's neutered? Are you telling me that right now? Oh. They got the message. He grew what? a nose no, just no, to do the no, motion. That was no. disgusting. That no, was disgusting. No, no, that was, no, I did not no. even see that. Uh, what about hall passes? Doesn't that hurt? This is assault. This is just assault. Ah, then I Wait, did he, he put just his put his pulse back on? <laughs> and I'm your principal. It doesn't mean we can't share a few. And I finally heard myself out loud. Goodbye. What? Oh, this is a weird episode. What the this, this episode, this episode is really grooming. He attached twenty dollars to the note. How cheap does he think we are? The, I wonder if someone's done the math on how much money that was. Oh my <laughs> he god! He turned into a fucking Tetris my, piece. That's cool. That looks. I want Evanescence episode of Gumball. That looks fucking sick. I think they might be in the safe. Keep your spirit. Oh my god. <laughs> the booty Whoa. cheeks. What What's going fuck? on? All I have to do is blow this place up. Exactly. Wait, did he say blow up the school? Oh my goodness. Principal Brown's the school shooter. He's calling in a bomb threat right now. Hold on, kids. I need to make a symbolic gesture of protest. Halt in the name I'm going to light myself on fire like that Asian oh guy. Oh my god. Wait a sec. That was literally Tiananmen Square. <laughs> Hello? Everyone, evacuate the school. <laughs> That's that was awesome. literally a Tiananmen Square <laughs> massacre <laughs> reference. This show might be mid sometimes, but this really is the amazing world of Gumball. I lied about my age to get this job. Hey man, I'm not even a U.S. citizen. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Surely no one else is more qualified to be our principal than our principal. What a weird episode. I'm gonna get this place back on track. It's gonna blow up still. You're not allowed to bring food into the lobby. Dude, he literally brought lean to school. Like, look how purple that cup is.
We officially went under a minute without it having an explosion. If I had to wait more than one minute for an explosion to happen, I'm clicking off of the gumball episode. Somebody help! Oh, he's gonna give Mota Mota to Tobias. I do. Alan's the greatest. Oh, he's... Oh, oh, he put his... That oh, is that's a like, little disgusting, I'm like, not gonna like, lie. This is so gross. I kind of liked it. I wanted you to have it for being such a great friend. <laughs> he turned into a monkey. To give Gumball some slack here, Alan does sound condescending when he is nice to Gumball. Like, you're being such a great friend. Like, you're yeah, such a I great friend. I think that's friend. just the autism coming through because I think he I think he doesn't realize that that, that that can come across that way. You know what I mean? Do you think Alan is autism coded? I think he's coded in autism? I feel like if anyone's dysfunctional here, it's definitely Gumball. They're balloons, you know. It's not that bad. Uh he just showed him like torture videos right there. I was like beheading video compilation. I made you lose all your friends, your girlfriend, I sold your parents. Oh, I didn't miss that. The torture video was of his parents, apparently. This is just a Scott Tennerman episode, except Alan literally didn't do anything to Gumball to prompt this. He had a slightly annoying personality. <laughs> kind young guy was the only one to help me out. Oh my god, it's all about karma though, because even as he kept a pure heart throughout all of this, and, and now just love him. he's getting rizzed up hella hard right now. Dude, oh my god. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Ew, ew, yes. Ew, ew, yes. Ew, ew. Thank you for agreeing to do this highly experimental testing. Who is this pig? Cut him out of the show. Editor, do not keep this in the video. Editor, keep it in. Put my face over the pig. Oink, oink. Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to look at that. That is the- this literally looks like an Ebola. Oh. That, what is that? That looks like the zombies in the Last of Us HBO Max special movie. What charity is this for again? Save the pigeons! I feel like the episode ended, but it's still going. Like, we yeah, resolved the, the main plot ended. of the episode, and it's just still going. Oh, and they died. Well, they were making Alan take the L the rest of the episode. Gumball has to get his come up and oh, they, they hit the Pentagon. Yeah. They hit the Pentagon, Gumball! I'm a doctor in a soap opera. I really like that character design where he's like a magazine clipping. That's so interesting. I am not putting my hand on the slimy gizzard of some stranger. They did do surgery on Alan in that one episode. So technically, they're qualified to be doctors, right? But maybe that was after this. You see, that's the problem, Jack. When you watch Out of Order, they haven't gotten their medical license yet, okay? You're a better man than me, so, yeah, thanks for that. What's important is that you stay true to yourself. Kill him. Stop it, you jerk! Yes! Maybe Alan is autistic. Yeah, yeah. it was the noises, the noises. This one. <laughs> See, the auditory responses, okay? The autism coding is amazing. <gasps> he only no, did it just to make him happy. God, he only did it just to make him happy. It's he all did it just to make him happy. Oh, oh, my oh, my oh my god. Oh my god. Alan, you're and an it, amazing man. Alan's my favorite fascist, to be honest. And if you guys want us to watch more Gumball, get this video to 10,000 likes. And thanks to our patrons, specifically the $20 ones. We'll read right now. Resident Don, Christian Jack, Xander, Ricardo, James, Pepper, Dane, Luke, Quaking, Simon, Oren, Gabriel, Jordan, Jazz, Christian Ludwig, TJ, Tristan, Sam, True, Armored, Tyson, Lund, Sully, Netlet, Force, Tech, Gluten Free, Minky, Mario, Kia, L, Case, Tech, Dan, Quinn, Callout, Reverted, Bam, Alexis, Corgi, Roshana, Fat Pup, Black Knight, Dentepic, Angel, Bunny, PBJ, Carter, Helmboy, 125, Autumn, Matthew, Rocket, Elizabeth, Ace, Mythical, Doggo, Yobthog, Daniel, Sam, Detone, Ryan, Kamui, Caitlin, Blink, K99, SS, Tia, Seller, Atomic, King Red, Alfredo, Crescido, Mark, Matthew, Marquizel, Daniel, Deadman, Argafargadar, Jake, Trippy, Arthur, Mercy, Ava, Damali, Whitavers, Mr. Delta, Crescent, Blackman, Bubs, Kato, Heather.